So before we run the set, let's do a um, let's do a healing meditation. Yeah, that'll be a nice way to get us get us started. I lost my other half already. <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been making gao like crazy. It's like gao factory over here. Almost burnt, almost burnt a batch of gao right after I said I'm so proud I haven't burned any sugar yet. Almost came out really dark, but was okay. It was actually good. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what is that? Come ahead and close that window. So funny, you know, New Year's Chinese superstition is you're not supposed to do any cleaning New Year's Day, not supposed to use knives New Year's Day. So you look at traditional, right? They do all the cooking ahead of time. And, but, uh, <laughs> so I did laundry this morning. I calculated, oh, I, I could do it tomorrow, but no, I just got to do it today. Sun's going to be up. And I opened up the washer. I'm rushing this morning to do all kinds of things. It went to Foodland. And I, I open up the washer and there's white specks all over the place. Oh. <laughs> Some napkin, right? And not, not heavy napkin that doesn't disintegrate, right? It was like light Kleenex kind napkin that just shredded. Like I could, I don't even know which pocket it was in. Oh. I thought, oh, somebody's scolding me. See, you're not supposed to do laundry on Chinese New Year Day. <laughs> Run down to Foodland because I'm going to make some noodles tonight. No, no bean sprouts, no Chinese peas, no sugar snap peas, all of that gone. I figured, oh, goodness, must be all the other Chinese, right? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to run to times. Hopefully, times will have some. Okay, so we'll do our blessing <laughs> for those, those of you sticking around for the second hour. <laughs> so we'll start off with the healing. So remember, everything is heart, right? You wanna, you know, tilt the sternum up, right? Don't lift the shoulders. Just, just tilt the sternum up, right? And project forward. Put your mind in your heart. Project your heart out. Your heart comes out through your palms, the center of your palms, especially the left side because it's closer to the left side. Okay, tips of the fingertips too, they come out from there. Yeah, come over here. And relax the hips, let all the joints fold and unlock. Relax the hips and swivel the hips forward a little bit and try to tuck the tailbone in. So just tilt up. Let the stomach expand and right? relax the stomach. Don't, don't clench, don't hold. Open the throat and smile. Lightly close the eyes and just imagine smiling. Recognize that feeling of smiling. Let the hips go, let the legs sink into the earth. Relax the bottom of the feet. Nice deep breath, feel the lower belly expand and contract and hold that smile. Relax all the facial muscles, feel the facial muscles falling and dropping. Tip of the tongue and the roof of the mouth. S slowly bring the palms together in front of the heart, like a prayer palm. Relaxing, smiling. Right, giving thanks to your heart for pumping the blood through the body. Giving thanks to the brain to allow you to think and have consciousness and make decisions and enjoy things. Giving thanks to your eyes so you can see and enjoy everything around you. The nose and the mouth so you can smell and taste all the good things in the world. Through the throat and the vocal cords, you can speak and communicate and sing and express yourself. 
allowing you to swallow and giving thanks to the stomach to processing the food right all the organs the liver right the liver to help you process the food too properly the lungs we're helping you to exchange the clean air and get rid of the waste the kidneys for processing the liquid and getting rid of the waste and the intestines for absorbing the nutrients and exp expelling the waste the muscles for allowing you to do things the spine for holding you upright and storing your spinal column open your eyes and take a deep breath Let everything out. Second breath. Make sure you exhale everything. Third deep breath. Let it all out. Breathe normally. Okay, so tilting the sternum up, smiling. Slowly open the palms, slowly lowering, looking straight ahead, letting it fall and extend. Reaching up just like washing the face. Relax, let the body move if it wants to move. Push from the shoulder blades, tilt the sternum up, not too far, and falling. And spiral the palms up. Second time. Just breathe naturally. Tilt the sternum up. Let the palms fall. Third time. Try to spiral the palms, spiral the fingers. Smiling and projecting into and from the heart. Connecting with the energy from above. Opposite for me, your right palm goes in your left palm. Fold it in and swivel down in front of your heart. Drop your shoulders. And tilt your right elbow opposite for me. Left palm on the sternum. Gently pressing up, take a breath. And then switch left elbow, swivels up, right palm on the sternum left palm pressing up take at least one breath turn the right palm up while the left palm drops over it just hovers over it turn to your right turn your waist gently and then turn back left relaxing the wrist just drag your arms and hands with you right Palm. Your right palm comes up, height of your face, left palm cradles the elbows and gently turn. Lightly feel like you're supporting a bubble. And then switch, left palm comes up. Okay, remember you want to go opposite from me. Your left hand is up. Come back to center, bring your left palm in, inside of the right wrist. And then three times gently pressing up a little bit then separating the hands turning the palms towards your forehead and letting it come down and then turn the palms and press up again use your shoulder blades remember to relax and smile relax the legs let them sink into the earth three times so we call this a heart piercing meditation, healing meditation. Take at least one breath in between before you begin again. Extend, just like washing your face. The body can, let the body move a little bit. Short press, not too far, and then let the palms drop. Start with the pinky, and then the ring, and then the middle fingers, so you create a spiral, a bowl with your palms. 
four times on the first one. Just taking your time, smiling, relaxing. So you start by doing this for yourself, and then if you want to project this to somebody, right? they can either do it with you, or you can imagine them doing it with you, or you can imagine you sending this beautiful energy to somebody. your right palm over your left and just take your time bring it in front of your heart and then your right elbow swivels up first left palm on the sternum take at least one breath and then switch left elbow swivels up while the right elbow comes down don't look up more than 45 degrees right palm creates a shelf turn right and then left drag the hands with you when you turn left 45 degrees right palm comes up and then turn right and left drop the shoulders and elbows then left hand comes up right palm supports the elbow remember it's supporting the kidneys as you turn back to center, left hand comes inside and then wrist cross and then they press up, up and back three times. Keep the shoulders and elbows down, come in towards the forehead and turn right in front of the face. Feel the shoulder blades expanding. fingertips touch bring it back take at least one breath before you repeat here forearms just fall and then you extend it's like washing your face dropping down while turning the palms keep the elbows bent and then the wrist yeah and then spiral the palms, spiral the fingertips. First time. Second time. And don't worry. It's don't worry about the repetitions. You do one more, one less. Don't worry about that. Sometimes I get so caught up in just enjoying the movement. I'll just do one extra one, <laughs> just to make sure. Your right hand on the left, and just fold, swivel in front of the heart, right? Every time you're in front of the heart, Think of the heart projecting, smile at the heart. Think of that little sun in the chest. It's a nice meditation to start the new year. If nothing else, project the heart and smile from the heart. Relax. Drag the hands with you. Let the wrist go. 45 degrees and then switch elbows down so the arms make the arms make a roof yeah 45 degrees the lower hand supports the kidney and the heart left hand inside palms turning out wrist crossing three times just about a 45 degree angle, not too high. So this last one, you can feel it. You can feel it emphasizing the third eye and the crown. So you open the top of your head so the chi can flow in and out from the universe and then gently come back. Take 
one breath. Take at least one breath. One more time. Feel the movement come from your shoulder blades. If you do one or more less than me, don't worry, just finish your movement. Right hand over left. Right elbow up first, your right elbow. Stretch and expand the palms through the fingertips. Right hand makes a shelf right at the sternum, right at the solar plex. Relax the shoulders and elbows. Right hand up. Feel the left palm supporting the kidneys and the heart. The right palm supporting the third eye, the center of the forehead. Left hand inside, palms facing out, wrist over wrist. Rising from the heart up to the crown. And then emphasizing the center of the forehead to the, to the crown. Top forward. Do one more time. One last time. Just take your time. So that would be the first time, second time. Third time. And fourth time. If you're counting. <laughs> Right over left. Swivel. Remember to emphasize heart. Expand the heart. Smile. Project. You can connect your heart to, to somebody else's heart. Connect to that other person. Remember, you, you're flowing the energy from outside through you and then project. Left hand inside, wrist on wrist. Rising from the heart up to the crown. And then back down. Palms are emphasizing third eye and the crown. Drop the shoulders and elbows, relax. Bring the fingertips and the palms together. Take a deep breath. Let it all out. Take a second deep breath. 
Let it all out. Take a third deep breath. Let it all out. Okay. Open the palms again. Let them point down. Fingertips touch. Gently press down. Okay, you go. Remember, you're going opposite from me. Your left hand comes forward. And then in front. So your left hand is forward. Right, and then turn the left palm at the elbow and bring it up up in front of you okay your right your left elbow is over your right palm okay the hand switch right palm turns and the hand swivel so the right hand is washing the outside you remember opposite for me left hand goes under the elbow you come up to the center drop it down in front of the heart and the left hand comes up the whole arm comes up the palm turns out makes a big circle relax the shoulder and bring it right below the belly button to center and the right elbow comes up same thing but the forearm doesn't open up so it looks smaller only because the forearm doesn't open up and then the right over the left, fingertips, gently touch the thumb. Take a breath. And then begin again in front of the heart. Open. Swivel. And notice how low it is. Fingertips pressing down. Left hand comes in front. So the left hand turns, wipes in front of you. So the left elbow is over the right palm. Then the right hand turns, palms facing you, and the hands swivel. Left hand under the elbow. You come to center. Swivel. Left hand makes a big circle, the forearm opens up so opens up from the elbow comes to the belly button right under the belly button and the right side does the same thing but the forearm doesn't open so it looks smaller right over left thumbs touching take a breath and then again okay so this this one is nice, not, not too much to it, it's simple, you take your time with these. And just relax, if the body wants to turn, just let the body turn a little. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. As you memorize this one, you can do this one seated. And when you do it seated, you can do it with your eyes closed. And it's actually taught in a um, cross leg position, seated cross leg. So if you want to do it seated cross leg, I would sit on the cushion so that your legs, um, you sit forward on the cushion and the eyes gently closed as you, as you memorize the movements. And you can do up to 18 repetitions of this one. So this is number one of what's called Sangung meditation. So if you like these meditations, you just bookmark these. When I once I post them on YouTube, just bookmark them so you know where it is. <laughs> Swivel right in front of the heart, left hand circle, your left hand circle. Remember it's opposite for me. In the right arm. Notice the forearm really doesn't open up on the right. So it's kind of an illusion that it's a smaller circle. One more time. We won't do 18 today. <laughs> Sometimes you do these, it 
really nice. You get a nice little charge from them. You get a nice little buzz from them. Keep the palms open, relax, but stretch from the fingertips and move from the shoulder blades. On these movements, you align the center of the palm, align the heart points. If your eyes are closed, it's a, it becomes a little bit more internal. If your eyes are open, then some of the chi escapes through your eyes. So if you want to do qigong for your eyes, you make your eyes bright and look far, stare far away. The qi flows out through your eyes. If you want to keep more of the qi into your body, you lightly close your eyes. Always thinking a little bit of the lower tantin to cultivate the qi there. Always smiling from the heart. Smiling into the heart, projecting from the heart. And again, you could project this to somebody else. Just imagine they're doing it with you. Imagine you're just sending that good energy to them. And just do, just do maybe two more. Finish your movement, just hold that last meditation with the prayer palms while we all catch up. I'm going to do one more. finish you can hold that mudra either at your belly button or at the prayer palms either one is okay and you want to end with three nice full breaths so that full breath in and exhale everything and after the third breath, just breathe normally. Just slowly open your eyes and slowly walk around and move your hands around. And shake everything out. So, I think on when I post the YouTube, I'll put a um, little reminder. I'll put oh, New Year's New Year's uh, meditation yeah for you. So you look for the New Year's meditation, right? Meditation for the New Year's. Okay. All right. Yeah. So those two are there. They're both simple healing meditations, uh, moving meditations. 
Uh, like I said, the last one we did, the sun gong, you can actually, um, it's actually taught seated, but you don't have to do it seated or on, on the ground. So what I would do is I would put a cushion and it's because I just can't, it's not, I'm not that flexible. But when you put the cushion, it'll raise your tailbone. And you don't have to do lotus or anything, you know, just sit. So just start from here. You know, if you do lotus, you could, or you could do a half lotus. That's, I'm sure that's okay. But just here, nice and upright, relax, yeah. And then you do the, you just do the meditation from here. Yeah, the sun gong is actually taught all seated. So it would look like that. So same thing, just that you're seated. Yeah. Remember opposite for me, right? My right hand is moving, so your right hand. Yeah. So the first one, very nice and simple. Yeah, from there. So from the from the side you can see I'm sitting towards the front. So my tailbone is lifted and then my legs can fall forward. Right? You sit flat on the floor, you don't get that same effect. So sitting on the cushion and letting your legs on the floor gives you, it gives you a, a, a better posture, a, a proper posture for that. Okay. So if you want to, um, you know, if you, <coughs> I'm sorry, if you want to do that general healing or you want to send that good energy to somebody, you can, you project from the heart. Um, you can imagine you sending them the meditation, you sending them the energy, right, projecting from the heart through the palms, or you could visualize them doing it with you, right, if they're not actually doing it with you. So they could be doing it with you. You connect your heart to their heart. Right? So that's part of the healing meditation. All right, so we have just enough time. We'll run through a little bit of the standing, either a little bit or all of the standing. We'll just kind of review that and then we'll get on with our Chinese New Year's Day. I, I need to make a delivery. I need to look for bean sprouts. <laughs> uh, but you know, Chinese noodles is, um, you know, it's whatever you have, yeah? So as long as I have some, as long as the noodle is flavored, it's flavored oyster sauce. I, th I always thought it was really unique because I was from Hilo and my mom did it. And then I come up here and, oh yeah, my mom does that too. Oh yeah, my mom does that. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> my mom must have learned it from her mom when they lived, it up, lived up here. It's a real, such a simple noodle to make with chow mein. Yeah, so it's whatever I have. And I'm not making five pounds like I usually do with the giant roasting pan, so. I just bought bought two pounds this year. There, there's a right on Liliha Street, right above um, right above Foodland. On the right side is a is a, a noodle shop, Chinese noodle factory. So it's always so much better if you can buy the raw noodle, and, everything. and they sell the the pea and everything, different kinds of noodles. So that's where we went yesterday. Okay, come standing, and okay, so we'll end the class with with the standing form. So this is our, this is our Tai Chi for Health, uh, extended 42, right? Tai Chi for arthritis fall prevention. Okay. So let's see. Um, okay. So the way I've been doing it, I start off facing you, um, same direction, right? I work to do it same direction. And then as we turn, I end up with my back facing you, same direction. If it's not a facing you so you can just see the form from the front view and then we don't have time today but if we had time I'd turn my back to you so that we have it both ways but you can look at you can look at all the past <laughs> past sessions these are the part two right when I post the Sundays I'll have part one which is generally the warm-up and, and the seated set and then the part two okay so um, the feet feet gently together they can be gently touching or almost touching and then 45 and 45 okay we'll just start from here and then unlock the knees so light bend uh, tuck the elbow tuck the tailbone in so the hip elbows forward right? 
Just hang the arm straight down at the side of your body. You can see how my arms aren't at the side here, but they fall naturally towards the front. So right on the, the corner, your elbows are bent. Okay, chin is down, head pulled back. Just from the giddy giddy, imagine it's pulling the head up, which will cause the chin to tilt down and relax every joint in the spine so the spine Body can expand upwards and then relax from the hip down so the legs sink into the earth. Bottom of the feet are relaxed while the legs are feel a little heavy, letting everything go. So uh, body is expanding in both directions. Smile. As you breathe, open the throat, expand the lower belly. Gently look straight ahead. Take a deep breath. Come up, breathing in, gathering. So light expansion, and as you exhale, sink right into that posture. A little lower, and then expand right into that posture, the opening posture. Take at least one breath before we begin. Okay, commencement. Palms open, holding the ball. As you breathe in, rise, bring the ball to your heart. Okay, same side as me, shift to your right, come down. Free your left heel, sink into your right hip. Just extend the leg, shift up, pressing the ball and rolling down. Right, sink into the left hip to free the right and step up. Same side as me, I'm mirroring you. Out and back. First three movements commencement. Okay, sink into your left hip. Free the right. Turn 45. Pick up the right. Tap it in and then extend. Small step out and shift and press forward and then open. Raise your palms to the height of your nose. Single whip. Sink back into your left hip, drop in your right hand. Right hand, left toe tap in, and then out. Hands exchange. One saw. Raising. Hands waving like clouds, cloud hands. First time, remember to sink into the hip to free the other leg. Just take a comfortable step or I just suggest I'm taking small steps because I have a small room right now. <laughs> Come back to center. Turn a little bit to spiral back to an open and close and repeat on the left side. Right, so shift into the right hip, turn, free the left. Pick up and step and open. Single whip right here, then shift back, sink into the hip, tap in, hands exchange, and first step. Turn the waist a little bit as you sink into the hip to free the other leg. Yeah, my poor girlfriend, she's getting all confused because. <laughs> I'm calling your right, but I'm moving my left. <laughs> I can see the look like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Turn 45. Right, come back to center. Spiral a little bit to the left as you spiral in. Okay, so I'm going to turn around. Okay, you can turn around. Okay. We're still moving the same way, right? We're going to turn this way. So shift a little bit into your left, free the right and turn. Make sure your right foot turns, slide your right hand up by your ear. Sink into your right hip, free the left. Turn. Small step with the left and brush the left knee. Shift your weight forward. Right foot's going to follow the left foot. Go right behind, heel down. Relax, turn the palm center. Sink into the left hip to free the right again and step back. 
shift back into the right and turn your waist to the right so your left hand comes forward yeah. stay right there stay right there stay right there okay. left left foot is free extend so the heel touches down and then we're going to twist step to the left so turn your palms right left palm is facing down right palm is under the elbow and turn turn the left shift forward and keep on turning your waist so the right hand slides up sink into the left and step up right we're going to swivel step to the right so turn rotate to the right right foot has to turn shift forward the waist keeps on turning to the right while the left hand slides up left heel up left palm is going to flip over right so it flips over across the body right foot follows hands hold a fist just stay there just stay there hands hold a fist where the right fist comes over right with the step up heel down right foot back hands separate rolling back sink into the right hip free the left and gather at the tantin step up double palms pressing up lift the sternum right foot follows Keep the heel up and turn to your right. Bring the hands in front of the heart. Right foot and then shift to the right. Free the left and keep on turning. Adjust the left foot. One, open and close. Okay, we're gonna repeat on this side. All right, so shift a little to the right to free the left and turn. 45, slide the left hand up by the ear right palm is cradling the elbow pick up the right continue to turn small step drop the right hand while you brush the right knee shift forward lift the sternum left foot follow step it's like a little shuffle just behind the heel and then heel down relax okay left foot steps back sit back drop the hands hands come center sit back and turn the waist to the left so the right hand comes out free the right foot okay. then the right foot steps back out heel swivel to the right left hand under shift forward and keep on turning the waist to the right the left hand comes up left foot up okay. just need to just stay there stay there okay. and swivel to the left Twist step to the left. Swivel up. Right foot follows. R right hand covers. As you keep on moving up, under the left, left foot follow step. Hands holding a fist, and the left follows through. Okay. Let me just do that continuously. Yeah. So. Sorry, wait, I'm getting lost. Let me do it from here. So I just want, want you to... Oh, wait, wait a minute, sorry. Sorry, I gotta reset. <laughs> I just want you to see it continuously, yeah? So that swivel step. cover and punch and then steps back and out okay I need you to you come up here you come up here because you're blocking the camera view <laughs> okay, so let me show you that you can run through that one more time you can follow but stay from up here face the window face the window All right so so we're going to turn this way, we're going to brush knee. Right. The left foot follow steps. The left foot steps back. Turn the body to the left. Right foot is free. Okay, right heel out. Twist step right. Left hand under and then this is just coming up, the parry. And then we turn the other way, everything turns. And we keep on turning. Left foot follows, right hand flips over and covers under the left, 
with the punch. Step back, gather, double palms, sternum lifts, the left foot follow steps, the heel stays up, and then you swivel and turn to your left, so back to the front, left foot down, shift, and then keep on turning, and the right foot swivels and do an open and close. So, from the front, okay, that, that swivel step is turning. And so, it has to turn and keep on turning, and then turn and then keep on turning. Yeah, so it turns. Now everything turns. You have seen the leg turns, the ball turns, right? and then as you're coming forward, the waist has to keep on turning. Don't let the knee swivel, want the knee straight. And as you sink into the right hip, then the back leg is free, right? Then you can step up and then you can turn. And then you shift forward right on the center line. So you could just keep walking, right? As an exercise, as a drill, you could just keep twist step, twist step, twist step. Okay? And then when the hand covers, so in that last one, the hand covers and with when you shuffle, the, the follow step is like a shuffle. Okay? That's what brings the punch out. And it's a loose punch. Right? So just think of a fist. Uh, that's, you know, there's, there's not much application in this. It's all open palm. But when that hand comes, right, comes together. Right? So with, with the follow step, that's what brings out the hands. So it's crossing over like this. Right from here, so it's coming right out. If you want, you could lightly brush, really lightly create a vibration, but you don't have to. But sometimes it just slightly, lightly brushes. Okay, and this hand is right in front. It just covers, right? It, from here, it just folds. So it's perpendicular to the body. Okay? If I turn 45, it stays with me from here. If I turn 45, then my elbow is pointing in the front right? from here. So when I, when I punch, or when I, when I step up from here, my waist is gonna turn, and that's gonna to add to pushing my hand out. Right? I'm gonna step up, and I'm gonna turn while I'm doing that. And it's gonna go right across. And it doesn't, so my elbow is behind that, that fist. Right? I don't wanna do it here. If I do it here, I'm gonna lock my own elbow. <laughs> Over here, I can still bend, but over here, oh, to come down, I can't come down. I've kind of locked myself. There, there's times when I could do that, but uh, for what we want to do is just about here. Okay? All right. Then come over here. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we're going to... We're going to continue from the open and close. We're going to do the brush knee facing this way. Okay. Okay, so we're going to shift a little to the right so we can free the left and turn. We're doing the next section now. Brushing the right knee, lift the sternum. Left foot follow step. Here. Okay. Leave the left hand out as you step back with the left. Right hand's going to circle up as you sit back. And the body is turned a little to the left. Free the right foot, tap it in. Turn the waist back to the front. Palms turned. Wipe it down. Come to just below the belly button. Rotate the right palm up and lift right under the chin. Take our step with the right. Come forward. Left foot follow step. Okay. Leave the right hand here. Left foot back. And as you sit back, you're going to open up the, the hand. We're moving away from the left. Rock the right foot up and then spiral right. Drop to the heart, double palm. Shift up, left foot follow step. Small press and then swivel back to your left, to the front. Left foot and then right. Hands holding the ball. Repeat on the other side, so shift, I'm sorry, shift to the left, so you can turn the right, right hand up, left foot free, 
turn, step, brush the left knee, lift the sternum, right foot follows, right foot back, leave the right hand there, sit back and the left hand circles up, turn the waist to the right, free the left foot, wipe down in the center, lift the left palm, fingertips connected, step up, right foot follow, heel down, right foot back, open the left hand, allow it to open, rock the left toe up, spiral left, double palm, right foot follow step, heel stays up, turn to your right, back to the front, palms release, adjust the left, one open and close, last section, shift to your right, turn a little to your right to free the left, slide the left foot back a little bit, start to press forward and then shift back to the left, opening your palms, drop the right hand down, shift all your weight to the left, free the right foot and turn your waist to the left, right foot is 45 degrees, sit back on the right, free the left and continue to turn, so we're facing this way, right fist holds it, right hand holds a fist and turn until fist under elbow, left foot steps up, right foot follow step, right fist extends, left hand is close to the body, turn to the left, so the right foot has to turn, I'm going to be facing your back, right, right hand comes up, sit on the right hip, free the left, and turn, so I'm facing your back, okay. brush the left knee, right foot follow steps, okay, sit back on the right, free the left, left hand comes up while the right hand falls, repulse monkey, turn your waist to the right so the left foot turns on the left heel now you're going to be facing my back pick up the right and continue to turn brush the right knee lift the sternum left foot follow step sit back on the left the repulse monkey right hand comes up right foot is free turn 45 to the left shift to the right hip step with the left brush the left knee Follow step, leisurely tying the gentleman's coat. Step back, left hand circles up, turn the waist. Free the left, turn back to the front, wiping down, drop the shoulders, lift. Under the chin, step up. Right foot's gonna follow step, heel down. Then step back, open the left arm, spiral left to the heart. Double palm, right foot follow steps, swivel back to your right to the front, you're facing my back. And last time, we repeat on this side. So turn to your left, slide your right leg back a little, open, shift to the right, start dropping the left hand, turn your waist so the left foot turns, Sit back on the left, keep on turning to the right, left hand holds fist, right elbow under fist, step up, left foot follows, the left fist extends, the right hand, you're folding into the right hand, okay, we're going to turn to your right, so I'm going to be facing your back, okay, so release the left, let it fold up, while you turn, to your right, the left foot has to turn and sit on your right hip, free the right, keep on turning to your right so I'm facing your back, brush your right knee, left foot follow steps behind the right heel, sit on the left, right hand comes up, repulse monkey, free the right foot, turn to your left, let your right foot turn, all the way so you're going to be facing my back left foot free, keep on turning and brush the left knee, left foot up, right foot follow step, sit on the right, left foot free, left palm comes up, repulse monkey while you turn to your right, 
right foot free, brush the knee. Left foot follow step, leisurely tying the coat, so leave your left hand up, left foot steps back, right hand circles up, turn your waist to the left and free your right leg, tap it in, wipe down, center line, lift, fingertip touching, step up, push out, left foot follow step. Okay, left foot back, let the right arm open, extend, spiral right, drop it to the heart, double palm, follow step, swivel back to your left, to the front, you're facing my back, one open and close, drop the shoulders and elbows, turn the palms to the front, double palms pressing out, sternum up, slowly lowering, slowly standing back to the beginning. Let everything go. Bring the feet gently together, come up, gather, rise a little and then sink. Two more times, relax, let everything go. Just imagine you flowing the chi through your body. You gathering way up in the sky, down through the center of your body, into the earth, displacing the earth chi. And relax. Slowly let everything go. Yeah, take your time. So when you finish, take your time. Don't um, avoid abruptly ending, you know, avoid coming down and just, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Just, you just ruined the whole <laughs> ambience of the whole thing, right? You spent, oh, who knows? You could be spending 30 minutes going over that nice pace and then, right? Just, f just for a few seconds, just wait and let it settle and then, and then go. And that, that's part of the whole philosophy, the training and what you're doing. All right, so we'll end with the, the bell meditation. And you can go out and enjoy the rest of your day. Go eat gao. <laughs> You're allowed to eat as much gao as you want today. <laughs> I might have to take an extra simvastatin today. <laughs> I make all this gao. I, I don't eat my own gao. I eat, I make um, the small little mini pans and I put them between plastic for the kids so they can snack on. And I made one small little teacup gao. Um, and that's what I ate this year, just to taste the flavor, because it came out dark, but oh, I, I liked it, came out good. All right, so relax, extend the legs, right, and slowly, gently walk them back, just so they're touching, relax. Hands can be here, it's up to you. You find out what's comfortable, what you want, right? It could be here. It could be here, left hand on the bottom, right? It could be here, right? Oh, it could just be at the side you want, okay? Or just, just resting, relaxed, it's up to you. You can try different, different postures and see which one speaks to you at different times. Look straight ahead, gently close your eyes. Calm your breathing down, open your throat. Open your heart, smile. Let all the tension in your face go. Just let everything drip into the ground and listen to the bell.
you slowly open your eyes you rub your hands together you can open up your microphones and now open up your video <laughs> warm up your eyes yeah, so nice meditations to to start the new year off Continuing our transformations into better people, better lives, right? <laughs> better year. <laughs> I had a, it was interesting, I had good reminders last couple weeks about when we practice, when we practice these forms, they sh actually should never feel the same, right? Yeah, they should always feel different because if they feel exactly the same, then we're just doing the same thing, we're kind of stuck. So they should, always feel a little bit different right but we're learning we're evolving you know it doesn't have to be improvement even if it doesn't feel right as long as it's different and, you know we're you know. and then i'm watching i'm watching my netflix shows and oh and, and my first my classmate tells me yeah the teacher said you know that's what teacher told us it shouldn't feel the same every time and then i'm watching one of my netflix shows and the same thing comes up, yeah, it feels different every time. And that's how it should be, so it's not boring. It's, um, yeah, and it was a cute little show with really a kind of a deep theme. And it's centered around cooking and this person who became the cook for, um, for this, uh, I, I guess a geisha school, it's on Netflix. Yeah, and, and they asked her, don't you get tired of cooking every day for the girls, for the Michael and such? And she said, no, it feels different every time. It's enjoyable. But, you know, so there are all these little lessons in there. But that theme came up several times. So, so yeah, the, it shouldn't feel different every time. It should, you know, you're searching for something, you're improving. It's more or it's less or whatever. <sighs> Gogi Fa Choi, Sun Min Fai Lok. Gogi Fa Choi. Go out and eat something. Go out and eat something sweet. Uh, in the old days, Elisi, you know, we just got, we got um, nickels and dimes, right? Because the idea of the Elisi at New Year's is go buy something sweet. But we don't have nickel and dime candies anymore, do we? <laughs> uh, so I gave a dollar, I gave a dollar in the kids' Lisi. I figured that would be about right. Um, yeah, and go out, look for lion dance, feed the lion. Look for our club, look for Ji Young. <laughs> feed the Ji Young lion. <laughs> Orange and black. <laughs> Orange and black pants. Yeah. But enjoy the rest of your day. Um, happy New Year. Let's have a good year. I don't know what that means. It's year of the rabbit, but... <laughs> It'll, it'll be fun. Have the rabbit up there. Go out, have oranges. Have your gao. Have your jai. I make jai. I don't make. I don't make a vegan jai. It's so funny. We have to separate, right? Vegetarian and vegan, because I use oyster sauce. All the ingredients, all the main ingredients are vegetables, but the flavoring is chicken broth and oyster sauce. If I wanted to make it truly vegan, you know, then I'd have to use vegetable broth and um, uh, mushroom instead of oyster sauce mushroom because oyster sauce really is made from oyster extract yeah but i figure you know we eat the jai but on the side we have the chicken and the pork yeah and the beef